Hi guys, so in this video, we are going to talk about the spherify deformer. So the spherify deformer, that's what it names is. It's, it, it takes any object and try to make it in a sphere in a sphere shape. So I'll come in here and I'll create as usual a cube. And to add the spherify deformer, you can come to create deformers or you can still find it in the deformer menu here. So down here we have the spherify deformer. I'll make it a child of the cube and nothing really happens because there's not enough segment in the cube. So I'll make it 10 by 10 by 10. And I can see it's trying to make the cube a sort of sphere. If I come to the like this here, if I come to the object, you can see its property. We have only two properties, radius and strength. If I increase the strength, now it makes the, um, the cube com a complete sphere. That's basically all it, it does. It can also bring, let me try um, a torus and see, and it's put it in the torus, increase the segment, and it's going to be the same thing. So basically, that's what the spherify deformer does. Let me delete the two. And now let's put in something different. I'll add a plane. And now you can see there's no segment in the plane. Let's put in the spherify deformer to see what happens. You see, it pushes all the, the points of the, the plane because it's in the center to the edge to try to round it, right? But because the plane is just one axis, on one axis, it's not being, it's and it's in the middle, it's not making it a sphere. It's sort of, making it like a circle in the middle. So let's move the spherified deformer up, right? And you can see now it's wrapping around the bottom of the spherified deformer. So it's trying to make the plane wrap around it like some part of a circle and everything. So basically that's what the spherified deformer does. It doesn't do much.